Hello everyone, welcome to American Truck Simulator. My name is Mike, also known as Modded ATS. Today we're gonna to be jumping into my long-awaited 149 mod list here in American Truck Simulator. These are gonna be the mods that I'll be using more than likely here on the live streams and such. A lot of you guys always ask me, hey Mike, what mods do you use? And so on and so forth. And well, this video is gonna of course be for you guys, a little update from 148. A few things have changed, so let's jump right into it. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on the big road to 15,000 subscribers here on the YouTube channel. If you guys like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. This is ATS149, and this is my mod list, guys. So, this profile has seen a little bit of a total flip-flop within the past, like, 80 hours. Uh, if you guys have been around literally since the beginning, not only do I love and appreciate y'all, but I know that this profile has seen a lot of different phases. It's been chopped, screwed, pulled left, pulled right, up and down. I want to get it back on track to where it began. So if you guys have been following from the beginning, we had a let's play career mode, right? And it was the modified let's play. Um, we had, of course, I believe it was the Roland Peterbilt. It was blue and killer. And we would rock around and continue to go get miles and jobs and build the company up to be successful. The profile had then become corrupt. Now, when we began this new profile, insert limestone here, we brought upon ourselves limestone, and then even in my own personal life, I went through a whole bunch of jazz, whether it be moving, new jobs, moving to a new state, the whole nine. Consistency, not consistency, it's been crazy. Now, officially, I wanna restructure everything and get everything exactly where it needs to be yet again. So this profile, ladies and gentlemen, is going back to its roots of truck in the USA, and this is gonna be the official mod list for this profile. I will be having another video, yes, another one, coming out on my build and drive. And you might say, Mike, I didn't see the build and drive because you haven't seen it yet on the lives. We will be debuting it this week for you guys. And there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff with that as well. But that is where we're gonna have all the mods. I'm talking Pisters, Roland, Ruda, you know, uh, geez, Doms, everyone is going to be on that profile. JBX, PNG, Matt BT, Recon Lobsters, ATS Expansion. You guys name it, we're going to pack that profile filled of it. And it's going to be a build and drive profile. And that's going to be used for specific reasons of like big giveaways and fun times on the streams. And whether or not we do, uh, you know, new looks at mods. If a new mod comes out, we can check it out there. I want to go back to the... To the, to the roots of limestone. I wanna go back to this profile and really get under where we need to be at. So without further ado, let's look at the mod list. Not a whole lot has changed though, what you can imagine, but we'll go through everything as per usual. And of course, everything will be listed in the description below. Now, first things first, my goal on this profile was under hundred mods. We nailed it. 89 is currently sitting here. This number will change because I will be adding. I will be adding some map mods in time um i will give you guys an update video when we do do that though however currently at this current moment we are not we'll be running the stock map scroll on down shall we bam all right let's start here on the bottom ats expansion here is free it is from the trucky app also from his website uh, if you go to the website, though, you can go over there and choose to leave a little donation if you so choose. Uh, Mr. Recon Lobster does an amazing job on ATS expansion. Definitely worth uh, a little bit of chang, chang, change if you do have uh, the means to. The man does great, great work uh, and really expects nothing in return. And it's phenomenal, the stuff he does. And what ATS expansion does is it opens up some new varieties of different towns, uh, different load points. I believe if we click the icon here, you'll see. Look at all this stuff right here. Uh, you do need, though, some requirements. You do need to have all the state DLCs, the Volvo, and the heavy cargo pack. So just so you know. But there's so many stuff down here, guys, that you can do. I mean, you guys go to the change log the whole nine. He had so many, so many things. But you do need these three mods in order for it to work. Now, 
I do use some Matt VT yards. It is known that Matt VT and Recon Lobster are not always 100% compatible. However, for me in this profile, these do work. Now, if you guys have been watching on the live streams, you might say to yourself, Mike, you had so many more. Why'd you take them out? Very quite simple. I don't use them. I love them. I just haven't used them, right? And that's my goal. I want to be able to use my stuff. I want to be able to enjoy the mods I put in. If I sit here with two, 300 mods in a profile, I'm never going to be able to use all of them. I'm never really going to get the enjoyment out of it. Sure, I can handle it, but what's the point? I can't do anything with it. So I went to the ones that I really, really use currently, um, and that's what we're going to rock with right now. And of course, anything added on, we'll be uh, letting you guys know here in the future, but Harmon County is going to be in uh, Oklahoma. And of course, the Montana, Montana Construction Expansion is the Roundup Montana. That is, of course, where we're always at here in the live streams and such. And if you guys haven't followed me on the live stream yet, head on over there, twitch.tv slash modded ATS. We're on the big road to 5,000 followers over there. And when we hit 5,000, we'll be doing yet another, yes, another 24-hour live stream. So definitely go on over there, check it on out. Uh, these are the add-ons and the edit sign here. This is required for Matt's yards right here. Custom load add-on. So if you have any custom trailers, you can get some loads here out of these yards. Edit sign, simple as put. You have to customize the sign outside of the yards. Rolling on up here now. You're going to see some trucks are here. Some trucks are gone. I did not take any trucks out of this profile for any reason other than the fact that I don't drive them yet. You know what I mean? That's going to be on the other profile. Uh, so you'll notice right now, the only John Ruta mods I have in here currently are the Peterbilt 362, the W900, and I'm pretty sure that's all I left in here. And his trailer pack. Yes, and his trailer pack. Probably wondering why. I don't drive them. I might throw the Freightliner back in here, but there's no sense in me having the Peterbilt 389, 379 as much as I love it. I have Doms and I've got Pissers. As much as I love the Roland, I've got Pissers right now with the Limestone. Why have two 389s? Why have 75 379s if I'm not gonna drive them all, right? I'm trying to find stuff that I'll be driving and utilizing. That does not mean I don't like one or the other any differently. Just means that I am just currently using them. So I might as well just keep on rolling with the punches on this one. And of course we have the other profile. So there is of course no harm, no foul. Don't take things crazy. So. Here we have the 362 Peterbilt, the Highway Killer. Those are John Ruta mods. Links will be down in the description below on where to grab the John Ruta mods. Uh, I do have Dom's 379 in here. That is the uh, newest one here, the 149. I'll have a link to that as well. License plate pack here. This is for the 3D9. That can be found in the Pisser Modding Discord channels if you guys are in there. Uh, same thing with the green dashboard for the Peterbilt, right? That's also going to be found there in their Discord. Uh, trailer pack here. These two are from the John Ruta trailer pack. So yes, you guys know I had the Jasper Reefer in here. And of course, you know, we also have Doms. However, again, just using a couple Ruta mods. Ruta's got 75,000 mods that work with it. I just said, you know what? These work just fine for me. I'll throw them in. I like both. So no big, no deal. Uh, tanker right here. We do have the trailer tanker pack. Got uh, the Maximizer dump trailer here. This is the free one here from Sartana Modding. Uh, this is the half round that you guys see us with. I'll have links down in the description below. And this is his trail star. This is a payware mod, just so you guys know. Another dump trailer right here. This is the Manic, the Manic Max Wing from H3D Arts. Great trailer. Like this trailer a lot. Of course, we'll have links down in the description below for you guys. Wilson Commander, that is Pistol Modding. The Barrett Livestock, that is a free Barrett Livestock trailer, guys, over there from Pistol Modding as well. The Wade Step Deck. Uh, the Manic, the Timpty. These are trailers that actually come with the Timpty and the Manic. Uh, those are in the Wilson. They also come with uh, the 3D9, though, if you do purchase them. But uh, grain hauling, log hauling, depending on where we are. Not much of a step dagger, but of course, the Wade has tickled the old fancy. The one and only Rogers Low Boys in here, guys. We do rock with the Rogers. That is also from Piss for Modding. Scrolling on and up, we have the Sizzle Mega Pack. That is going to be the compatibility for the John Ruta mods. And we also have a compatibility back for the Pisser and Domo 389 because we are running that truck in here as well. That is down at Yay Bottom right there, the Custom 389 Mega Pack. Uh, so that's why. Like, I had that 389 in. There's no sense we have the rolling in right now. Or Dom, or uh, I'm sorry, or John Ruta's because I got all seven of them. But 
Moving on up, we got, uh, let's see, light packs here. KSW light pack, guys. Love the KSW light pack. It's rocking with that. PM trailers light pack. That comes with some of the Pisser Modding's trailers. I believe one of the downloads will come with that. Real Eaton Fuller transmission. If you guys haven't seen it already, I go over that over on my other video of my how-to, my Real Eaton Fuller transmissions and such like that. You might also see here on the left-hand side the Real AI Travic F mod. You're probably like, Mike, I remember you had that in a profile before. That is going to be in the big dog profile, okay? The real AI traffic. I'm telling you, wait till you see that video come out because that thing is going to be jam-packed. That's probably going to be breaking down every time I fire that one up. That one's going to be an interesting one because that'll be a first. I'm going to put in everything. Uh, I think actually the profile is called everything. Um, the real Eaton cast uh, add-on, obviously, that lets me use the transmissions for other trucks. Doms, Rudas, and Pissers. Icons! You guys always ask me in every video I tell you, Hey Mike, where do you get the icons on the ground? The white lines and the white squares. Right there, guys. Steam Workshop. There, you can find it right there. Um, I'm going to have links to everything down in the description below or where you can go to get them. If there is not a link, pay attention carefully. If there is no link in the description, there will be found on the Steam Workshop. Okay, no link, Steam Workshop. Link, not Steam Workshop. Just so you guys do know. Uh, no camera photo mode for all you big time ATS photographers out there, content creators as well. This removes the lines around the camera. So if you want to get some cool shots uh, in the photo mode and not have those uh, camera lines there, that'll eliminate that for you. Steam Workshop. Sissel Route Advisor gives you the small mirrors up here in the corner and gives you the lower, smaller hood. Changes up a little bit right there. As always, Steam Workshop. Scrolling on up, we got the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Jasper Wheels. You guys will see us there with those beautiful Alcoas. This is the Jasper Wheel Pack right here for 149. He has released a fix for this, so that's why there's a third uh, mod in there. Uh, this is for the Jasper Wheels, guys. The links will be in the description below. Uh, this is going to be for my steps. Yeah, modded transport steps. Real logos for the Doms. That's in the workshop. Tempty skin, skin packs, skin packs, couple skin packs here. Uh, if you guys want to rock around with some modded transport skins, whether you be on the Rudas, the Roland, uh, Pissers, uh, Doms, Hater Builds, any of the stock trucks, Mr. Natty Ice, man, right there in the workshop. Uh, putting it down, Natty Ice is the man. Go check him out. He's in the Discord. If you guys need any help on any skins or anything of the nature, please do reach out to him. Uh, or if you guys want to get any of the modded transport skins, go ahead, check out the workshop. Look how many there are. Pissers. We got the old school pack as well, which is going to be the older trucks. Very, very cool. Realistic physics from the man. Serial black modding right here from the Steam Workshop, guys. This allows me, obviously, you've seen the older video of my gameplay. This is the mod I use here. Uh, this is for the physics. <clears throat> uh, so the game feels a little bit more realistic when I drive. Classic truck traffic and the Jazzy Cat traffic pack. I do have these two in here. The other profile, again, is going to have more of the painted trailers and all that. But in this one, it adds up a little bit of diversity here when I go down the big road with limestone and such. But um, this truck right here, this shows the older trucks in the traffic. And this one is just obviously added more cars and all that kind of fun stuff. Now, these two mods are found from external websites. I please, please, please ask you guys, please, please, please. Be careful what you click, watch what you click. I don't need to get viruses. It's not my fault. It's not a support channel. I'm just showing you guys what I have. Please be careful of what you click. Uh, if you guys are gonna try and go get these, for some reason, they're always on external sites. You have ad blocker, works even better, but just be careful on what you click. Not responsible for your computer goes kaboom. Uh, Mr. Plum P with our no headlight find. So you might wonder why we have a no headlight find. Uh, I like chicken lights and chrome, all right? I like the chicken lights and chrome. So when I'm going down the road and it's about 7.30, 8 o'clock, that sun still be setting. Ain't no real time for them headlights. But SES has other thoughts on their mind. They say, Mike, headlight now. And I'm like, oh, hold on there, son. I do like my chicken lights and chrome. I like my parking lights on. I like to light up the sky. But we get the headlight ticket all the time. This mod eliminates that. Obviously, this says you could have no headlights at all all throughout the night. But obviously, we have them on. Real billboards and companies. There it is, guys. That's how you get the Walberts to be the Walmarts, the home stores to be the Home Depots, and all that fun jazz. Steam Workshop as well. 
The pivotal cabin roof camera, how we sit over the top of the truck. There it is right there. Gives you guys a little look there. Steam Workshop as well. My man, Plum Pete, again with the mirrors, the realistic mirrors. It's going to be on the Steam Workshop as well. Gives you a little bit of a better FOV in the mirror when you're backing up and such. Now, again, we'll have to talk again about this. I have PNG in here. Oh, why don't you use the JBX? Because I love JBX. I love PNG. I also, also want to stay under 100 mods. <laughs> so I think, listen, here's my true sense. Honest to God, I've ran both PNG and JBX. Here's my truth on it, right? And someone could timestamp this if they'd like. SCS has done an absolutely amazing job on the update here in 149. The skyboxes look amazing. The new weather, everything has been absolutely flawless. It's been great. JBX and Project Next Gen, <laughs> you're not going to like this. They're not even required anymore, in my opinion. You don't even need them. You really don't. Um, if you didn't buy them, it's not like you're really, in my personal opinion, you're not going to be losing out too, too much, right? SCS has come a really long way on it. Now, if you're like, well, I still want it. PNG is going to be your lesser of the two when it comes to options on skyboxes. And obviously the price is going to be a lot better on you. JBX goes a lot further in tail. Time scales, better skyboxes. You know, there's a 20 of them, the whole nine, bigger pay price on it. Both are great. Both are really, really good. The reason I have PNG in here over the JBX, because you guys know I've had JBX for years, is more than likely because these are just two mods, really. Um, and I don't want or need all the different skyboxes here in this profile. Now, wait until you see the other profile, because I not only have PNG, I got JBX and PNG in the same profile working together there, 42. Um, that is gonna be used at your own risk. <laughs> But again, nothing against JBX, nothing against PNG. Uh, I just want to have under 100 mods. PNG also has just two. JBX adds like a couple more. So that's that. Uh, moving on up, though, um, we're going to play with we got the Slab Jerry DEFs here. So we got some Slab Jerry motors here the Detroit, the Cummins, the C12, the C15. Uh, I believe you can find actually all these on the Steam Workshop. These two are going to be on the Truckee app. But I believe he might have added them to the Steam Workshop. So um, I'm going to leave them out right now. But they're very easy to find. Uh, up here, we have the Serial Black Detroit Diesel Series 60 and his Cummins ISX. This is from Serial Black Modding. He does have some older engines on the Steam Workshop as well as uh, we wait for the website to come on up. But um, I know a lot of you hammers don't have these, but a lot of you guys do. But that is right now on attainable but it, it could very well i might know a little something something very well could be coming very shortly we see we see fingers crossed um engine sound pack 4.2 this is from creechy bomb creechy bomb is a, a very good sound maker here guys he's been around for a long time uh this thing got under the wind for me though i was kind of surprised i didn't know how great these engines have become and uh we usually use a lot of these too i like them a lot they're good for convoys and such uh this can be found on the scs forum Leave a link there, too, in the comment section. Or the just, uh, oh, gosh, not the comment section. In the, the uh, oh, my gosh, in the description below. Uh, also, the improved sounds uh, from Creech Bomb as well. So better shifter, reverse, air, all that fun stuff. Tire sounds as well. Uh, the musical highway. There it goes. And, of course, the interior sounds uh, for the Pisser and Damo 389 is also from Creech Bomb. I believe that is only in their Discord as well. Uh, so is the improved sounds, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, that's really going to be it for this profile, guys. So this is going to be the Truck in the USA profile, the profile that you guys are going to be seeing on the live streams at night with Limestone. Like I said, we're going to have a second profile for the live streams as well, which is going to be the build and dry profile. We're going to be building some cool custom one-off trucks. That's where we're going to do some really unique builds. You know, we'll have the uh, Hater Made Peter built over there. We're going to have DSD, Troy Macy's, Bocephius, the whole nine. We're going to have some really, really cool trucks over in that profile. We'll build and drive them, and then perhaps we can do some cool videos with them, of course. Uh, I'll be doing some videos here on the YouTube channel with that profile. And then, obviously, um, you know, we'll do some drives and such also on the lives with them. You know what I mean? And then, of course, too, when modders come out with some new stuff, 
we'll check them out as well and we'll throw them in that profile and see how they fare but uh man that's a lot and also too i know a lot of you guys always ask me about my graphics too with the chrome and all that that video is coming out this week as well so do not hesitate guys we got a big big week ahead of us oh uh, man we are headed into the final weeks of 2023 very excited for 2024 we're gonna have an awesome awesome kick to the beginning of the year it is gonna be awesome and the hammerhead community man growing one hammer at a time we do love it and appreciate every single one of y'all but guys that is gonna do it for this one if you guys are new here like i said smash that subscribe button we are on the big road to the big 15,000. if you guys like this style video too a little bit of how to's and what we're using Make sure to give it a little thumbs up. And like I said, too, anything that we're going to be adding on in the future. So when we do add the map mods, I will come back and make a new video and revisit it and go over some things. So don't worry. Don't hesitate. Don't fret. Guys, that's going to do it for us today. You guys keep it cool in the stool. We'll catch you on the flip. And as always, keep the hammer down, guys. And let me know down in the comment section before you go. Look, if you made it to the end of the video, let me know down in the comment section, what is your favorite mod to use in your number one profile that you rock and roll with? Let me know what you guys like to use down in the, the comment section below. Man, I'm so confused. Comments, descriptions. I'm parked next to a Kenworth. He's scaring me. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys love the most there, what mods you guys like, or maybe you just like running vanilla. You know, we know we do. We got that vanilla. We got that vanilla. Let's play going too, man. So let me know what you guys enjoy. As always, like I said, guys, keep the hammer down. We'll catch you on the flip flop. Peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs>